Hi, are you looking for a relationship, dating, or just somebody to get in bed with you? Well, today I'm going to give you five relationship experts that can point you in the direction to getting what you want out of your next relationship. Let's get started. Okay, so we're in the workroom and I'm going to review some websites. I have not been given permission to use their materials, so I'm going to tell you what I found on those sites. I'll leave the descriptions below so that you can take a look at what attracts you the most. The first one is the tried and true John Gray, which most of us should know from Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. I read that book when it first came out and discovered that I am from Mars. Coming back to it with fresh eyes and seeing his material now is a little bit eye-opening. This first video that I'm going to share with you is from Second Act TV. This is Silka's channel. This is Silka right here, John Gray right here obviously. In this video Silka is guiding him to talk about what is surprising about being in a relationship after you're 50. Uh, the fascinating thing that I found out about it is there's sections in here that talk about the estrogen and the testosterone and the way they work differently with men and women. Women's as their desire grows, it's more of a steady incline. Testosterone goes up and down. So really some interesting facts biologically. He talks about proceptivity. When a man is prepared to accept a woman into his space. Another thing that John Gray talks about is build a, a series, create a series of pleasant, positive dating experiences. Don't worry about finding the, the right person on the first or the second date. You want to just keep on rolling. So, you know, in my, my video about what women really want, you know, all these questions they want answered. You don't have to do that all in the first date. Do it in a series of positive dating experiences. Then you get to know that person in a variety of locations, environments, and with a variety of questions. So you can develop that even if it's just a friendship. Friendships at our age are worth every bit of their weight in gold. So you can find some things on her website about relationships. She has a variety of options for men and women over 50. Now, interestingly enough, when I was doing this research, I discovered that nobody's really touched the subject of dating over 50 in at least a year. I mean, there's a little bit of information out there, but really there hasn't been anything for a year and almost everything I found was two to four years old. So what happened? Did we stop dating after COVID, during COVID? It obviously left an impression on us. So if you would like more of John Gray's information, I didn't, I found his website. He does not have a YouTube site, but this woman, Michelle Marchand Johnson, ready for the right guy. She has most of his videos on her website. You can see men are more attracted when, never do this to a man, slow down on sex with a man. He has some very fascinating biological differences of why you really shouldn't have sex on the first date. So if you're looking for more of his information, Michelle's YouTube channel is where to go for this. Okay, the second website that we're looking at is Dr. Jordan Peterson. Dr. Peterson has a YouTube channel called Mindful Wisdom Wave. He's a renowned psychologist, author, the author and online educator. He has a couple of books. It also talks about women initiating 75% of the divorces. So take a look at that if you want to know more about that. 
And he talks more about marriage and relationships in because he is a long-time married man. And then another part of the video I found really interesting is talking about your identity and how your identity is constantly in flux because of the people around you and how they affect your identi identity. So take a look at him, see if that's something for you. All right, so the next site is Susan Winter. This is a YouTube channel. She talks about a variety of dating sites also, uh, why they enjoy your company but they won't commit, the best advice for relationships, do's and don'ts. She does have some fairly recent, and by recent I mean within the last year, videos available for identifying what kind of relationship you're in. For example, the one I found and will leave a link to is transactional relationships. And those are all about giving and taking. Are you in one? Do you know how to recognize one? Do you want to be in one or do you not want to be in one? Everything is according to what you want. All those old paradigms are out of the window, gone. We don't have to play by those rules anymore. We get to decide how we want our relationship to be, which is pretty exciting to me. So Susan Winter, she will give you an idea about whether you're in a transactional relationship or not. The next YouTube channel that I looked at is 60 and Me. Now this is a site for women. She has a lot of current information, but men, take a look because this is what women are learning and this is what women are interested in. So it helps to know. And it seems like everything that I looked at on these websites is really for both men and women. You know, if somebody's talking about what he should do or he might feel like this, flip them around. As women get older, we have more testosterone, men have more estrogen. So we're always playing with those uh, factors as well. So 60 and Me, this five surprising facts about over 50 dating. In this one, this is the host. And this is a dating coach for women. And she talks about we used to have to look at other factors influencing who we picked for a mate. And now we don't have to consider those factors. That really it's all about having fun and enjoying who you're with, enjoying your life, finding a partner that can expand your life and improve your life. Really, that's all we have to do with a partner this time of our life. We don't have to live with them. We don't have to share bank accounts or cars or any of that. Well, hopefully we don't. But right before that, they were talking about sex. And sex is a big, important part of relationships. It brings us closer together. It's enjoyable. It's fun. It's a little more challenging at our age. But she talks about, you know, how we can make it more enjoyable for both parties. All right, and then I have one more website for you. This is Alana Pratt's YouTube channel. She is an intimacy advisor, and she's been doing that for over 20 years. She also has a website. I'll leave that link too. But in this, she's talking about sex. She's talking about how defining the relationship on your terms, deciding what you want, really forward, direct information. She has lots of videos as well, mostly oriented towards sex and intimacy. Uh, how to emotionally detach from someone. Some of us are in that stage of detaching from somebody that wasn't right for us. Somehow a relationship is broken, so there's some options for information on that as well. Okay, so we've gone through a few sites that can give you some help with dating and relationships. 
I hope these websites have been helpful for you and you'll take a deeper dive into them and see what you can find to make your love life the best it can be, whatever that is for you. Thanks for joining. I really appreciate it. Subscribe and like if you haven't already. Pass it on to somebody else who could be helped by this information. And we'll see you next time. Bye.